All right, guys, we got another one of these 16 pack uh, boxes, championship collection, MGA Holdings, Walmart, whatever box thing. Uh, see what we get in it. I'm hoping to get, I want to get a Parker's pack. I love Parker's so much. Um, our last one, we didn't get any vintage packs, which is fine, but we got a ton of that score from 2015, which I don't mind because I like the design of it, but I mean, there's, I mean, there's nothing really worth anything in it. But then again, I'm not doing these to make money, so I do them because I enjoy opening the cards. I mean, for a lot of it, I probably end up throwing it out, but um, I just I enjoy opening them up. So let's see what we get in here. Take a quick perusal and see how many of these score we got. Well, they didn't even bother mixing them up this time. They put them all together. <laughs> wow. They must have gotten a good deal on those. Okay. Uh, I got more this time. I got more score this time. Well, if there are autos in this stuff, I mean, I have a pretty damn good chance of getting some. That is eight packs of score. Eight packs. That is impressive. Uh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. All right, well. Let's see what we got here. They didn't even bother mess, uh, trying to mix them up. We got Upper Deck Series 2, 2015 16. We've got, uh, what is this, uh, 16 17 Series 1. We got here uh, 17 18 Series 1. We've got, oh, I'm, okay, this is Upper Deck Victory 2008 2009, so maybe they count that as vintage. I don't know. Uh, we've got uh, 2009, 2010, Series 2, two of those. Uh, and then we've got, oh, what is it? Oh, it's another one. That's we got three of them. So um, I don't know if they're worth the money you pay for them. They're fun to open, but uh, I don't know. Gee, look at this. It's like, it's like damaged. If you're going to put them in here, I mean... Friggin' throw out the ones that are damaged, please. I don't want them otherwise. Open them up here. Is this Varshak? Uh, Sam Gagne? Um, Matthias Orland? Uh, Chad LaRose? Uh, who's that? Miklas? Niklas. Niklas Hagman. We got a The Franchise, Johnny Bauer. Okay, I'll take that. That's all right. That's kind of cool. That's the back of that. Oops, over here. And in front of the card. That's all right. And the last card, gold card, is a Mark Giordano. Pack number two of eight. This one is another one that was almost open. We had that in the last one I did of these. All right. Uh, Vladimir Sobot uh, Sobotka. Sobotka. And this one's backward because I forgot that you need to turn these around. So, Patrice Bergeron, we had him before. Carey Price, uh, Jonathan Bernier, uh, Nick DiPietro, Jacob uh, Mer Marks, uh, Markstrom, Markstrom, and a Hot Rookies of Dalton Prout. I do have to say the Hot Rookies look like they're, I don't care for the design of those. The regular cards are fine. All right, we got a Nazem Kadri. All right. Cool. All right, uh, Corey Crawford. Oops, come on. Mark Fontenay. Fain. Sorry. Matt Cullen. Uh, Joe Corvo. Bobby Ryan. And a Ryan Nugent Hopkins. These seasons are open better than the upper deck cards do. Upper deck packs, I mean. Uh, Tim Thomas, Marcus Feligno, Steve Strios, uh, Paul uh, Stasnt, Andre Ladd. Uh, we got a hot rookies of Sean Hunwick. And finally, we have a gold of uh, Gustav Nyquist.
next. Sorry, then I had a notification from a buddy there. All right. Dave, uh, is that, it's Boland. Marc-Andre Fleury. All right, I'll take those. Slava Voinov, uh, Evgeny, brr, 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 brr. Navikov. Wow, lots of goalies in this one. Al Montoya. He sounds like a race car driver. The franchise, Jean Balevo. All right, that's kind of cool. And then finally, we have a gold uh, Sean Bersh. Uh, I was going to say Bergeron, but it's Bergenheim, which I'll shoot across the way there. All right, next one. We've got a Sean Thornton, Alex Tangay, Jacob uh, Markstrom, Colin Wilson, uh, Brayden Shen. Oh, look at that. I got an autograph. Harry Sateri. Let me uh, stop here really quick and see if it's... Sorry, I cut that off. Uh, looking at... I uh, was going to look at what this card was worth. And from what I can tell, it's a $12, $13 card. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, it's a pretty cool auto. Harry Sateri. But yeah, putting all these score things in there. And sorry, by the way, it's 2012, 2013. I don't know why I was saying 2015. Um, uh, getting that many in a thing, it makes it pretty easy to get a, to get a hit really. So we got one. That's all right. I'm all right with that. That's pretty cool. I'll take an auto any day. I would take that over a relic any day for sure. And then we have a John Moore. Still two more of these to go. We haven't even gone to the other packs yet. Uh, Milan Lusik, Eric Cole, Ben Eager, yeah, okay, uh, Braden Holtby, uh, Keith Tandle, Jonathan Quick Award winners, that's the back that looks like, I like the backs of these two, I think they're pretty good, Gold, Teddy Purcell, and our final one of score, See what we got here. Jonathan Toes. Uh, got a red. Is that is that special? No, it's not. Sorry. I thought that was like a metallic card. Johan Freit for, uh, Franzen. Uh, Mike Bredeo. Bredero. Nick Antropov. Nicholas Lindstrom. We got a hot rookies of JT Brown. And finally, we have an Eric Stahl. So. Um, cool. We got an auto, so that's all right. That's uh, sort of quarter of the way paid off the uh, <laughs> paid off the purchase there. So not that I do it for an investment, but uh, it is cool to sort of get your values worth out of it. So let's do it in order here. Actually, no, this is our oldest one here, isn't it? Yeah, oh eight oh nine victory upper deck. Um, big thing of goosh move there find a victory rookie or insert card in every pack six cards per pack all right i already heard of victory before so must have been obviously not being done anymore but let's see what we got in here i'll tell you right away i don't mind the design it's all right uh we got a jeff carter Oh, these are bricked together, though. Wowzers. Okay. Going to be paper loss, unfortunately. Uh, that's the back. That's all right. Wish they'd have a different photo for the back, but that's okay. Uh, Corey Perry. Uh, Martin St. Louis. Thomas Holstrom. Holmstrom, sorry. Chris Kunitz. And in the back, we have a Game Breakers Michael Ryder. Pretty cool looking card, actually. It's back of that, so that's it for that. Uh, they must have that UV coating that everyone was really fond of back then, because they do uh, they do stick a little bit. So, all right. So, uh, 
it's 15, 16. This is our next one. Series 2, 2009, 2010. And in Upper Deck Tradition, it's nearly impossible to open the pack. There we go. I like this design. Alexander uh, Boros, uh, Fabian Brunstrom, uh, Colton Gillis. Oh, first sideways card. Ray Whitney out of this one, yeah. Uh, there, see, there's that victory thing right there. Sergei Shurikov. Uh, Victor Tikhov. Oops. Uh, Samuel Paulson. Paulson. Okay. And Julie Shelley. Just a minute. And I return. Sorry about that, guys. Life calls, as it were. There we go. On to the next one. Oh, these. Man, Upper Deck needs to learn from Tops so how to make their packs. Okay, Michael Ryder. Uh, Brandon Morrison. Uh, Pascal Leclerc. We got a victory rookie of Jay Rosemill. Oh, we got a Mark Messier. Mark, Mark Messier hockey heroes. All right. Right on. Sweet. All right. Steve uh, uh, Kozlov, Donald Brescher, and we have a uh, oh boy, Duncan Keith. All right, I was gonna call him Dunson Keith. I don't sound very good. All right, last pack of this. Let me start with a goalie. Good sign. Martin Biren, uh, Aaron Veros. Oh, <gasps> we got a hit. Brian. Giant. I'm going to put that on the back. Just like everyone else would. We already saw this here. Victory, Brian Gianta. I've got a... Oh, boy. Guillaume Blattendress. I'm sorry, I butchered that. Andrew Ladd. And finally, we have a Devin Setoguchi. I'll look that up in the end and see if it's actually worth anything. All right, let's do Series 1, then we'll do Series 2. I think there's both. Oh, no, wait, that's 1718, uh, and this is 1617. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. We got other ones over here, too. Uh, it's 1516. All right, let's do this first. Who would have thought, like, opening random packs, you'd get more hits than you would, like, buying a hobby box? I mean, right now, this is pretty cool. This has been a pretty good opening. I, I'm... I'm not complaining at all. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. These upside down. Nope, just got a bunch of sideways ones. There we go. Go this way. Uh, that is Brandon Sad, uh, TJ Brody, uh, Cal Jarrock, uh, Enrique Zetterberg. We got a Young Guns of Max McCormick. We'll set that to the side. It's sort of sticking a little bit. Put that right there so I don't forget it. And we've got an Anton Lander, a Chris Neal in some kind of room there. All right. And a Jimmy Howard. Yay, a goalie. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb, I know. But I like my goalies, so. Second, I'll be right. Sorry about all the pausing there, people. All right. Move that before I accidentally click it. All right. Cody Hodgson. Uh, Nikita Zadorov. Uh, Sean Monahan. Uh, oh, UD Canvas of Jason Pominville. Okay. Uh, Nick Letty. Jamie Ben. Jaden Schwartz. And finally, we have a Curtis Lazar. So, actually, I, don't, I doubt that's worth anything. Let's put that over here. You guys are all screaming, wait, that guy's amazing. All right, what do we got? We got 18, 17, 18, and I think that's 16, 17, yep. Yeah. 
Okay, first ones of these, and I, I actually like the looks of these. Um, I wish, I just wish they wouldn't do the metallic lettering. Johnny Adoya, Adoya, Davis Savard, Artemi Panarin, uh, Zidane Ochara, uh, Janik Hansen, Phil Kessel, Martin Hansel, and finally Evgeny Kurtznoff. So that wasn't super exciting. And we'll finish it off with this. This is a 1718 Series 1. These are fun to open. I also like the design of these ones, so that's good. It's better than the design from this year, to be honest, which is 2019-2020. So we got uh, uh, Radek Fa Faxa, uh, Lars Eller, Paul Martin. We've got a UD Portraits of... Ryan McDonough. All right. Uh, Kelly Jarncroc. <laughs> Leo Kam Kamarov. Corey Perry. And we got a minute Kel Botker. So that's those. Let me pause for a second, see if I can find values on these two cards, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've looked these up really quick. Uh, let's see how guns of. Uh, Max McCormick, uh, worth about, uh, on average, about seven bucks. Uh, last sales around nine bucks. So, who knows what that's actually worth? The highest one was an Aztec card that was sold. So, this is just a regular card. And this of uh, Kevin, no, sorry, Devin Satoguchi, uh, worth about two fifty. So, not uh, super exciting, but uh, still interesting to pull, um, especially this. So. Um, it's, I prefer autos, but I mean, I'll take, I'll take a, I'll take a relic. That's not a big deal. It's a good looking card too. So, thanks for joining me, guys. More card videos to come. I'll see you next time.